Wisconsin is going to shift here, and Ohio State is going to definitely adjust. Uh, Ryan Ramchick does a nice job of targeting uh, the edge defender here, which is number six. Uh, he gets there and he wins by efficient footwork. He's then able to win with his hands, um, which essentially allows the guard to overtake what would be a combo block. Now you see 17 here is a stacked linebacker and tries to overlay and correct uh, the edge defender here. Ramchek is able to come off and get just enough of that uh, linebacker to win the edge. Ramchick is supposed to have a backside cut off, or in this situation, a backside cut. Um, he doesn't get the guy on the ground, but I'm looking at his ability to open the play side hip and be able to drive off the back foot, which he does here. Wisconsin's going to give the appearance that they're running outside zone to Ramchick's side, when in reality, they're going to go jet sweep. Okay, But what I want you guys to pay attention to is Ramchick's ability to target, hit his landmark, uh, watch his feet, all right, and then watch his first step, watch the power he brings on his second step, watch his hands. Even if this is outside zone, he's in good position here to win. You'll see Ramchick now is going to sift through B-gap and uh, climb and track to the second level. Now, his angle is what I want you guys to pay attention to here. His angle puts him into position to have success. If he stays on his feet here, he executes a nice block, and um, you know, 35 doesn't even have a chance to be able to flow over the top to get to the ball carrier. Here's the same play in real time. This is a great all-around teaching clip right here. My rules for twist pickup are communicate, have vision, whoever has the hard slant, collision hard inside, whoever has the looper, mirror bump, and pass off. You'll see all of the above is done here. Ramcheck is able to collision that thing down inside and to be able to come back out and really set an anchor against the looper. We'll slow it down here so you can see everything we just covered. Hard slant, mirror back outside to the looper. This is just a base block right here. I want you guys to look at the hit, lift, and drive, um, all based upon his hips and the leverage with his elbows, but also look at his base and his ability to drive through his end steps. This is what we call a little tex action. The tight end is going to come down on the edge defender here. Uh, Ramchick, though, shows his agility to be able to still pull around and get outside of the edge defender, even though he crosses the tight end's face who's in motion. Shows great agility, uh, shows great uh, um, just overall awareness to work through that thing. Really love how Ramchick really rips his hands off the ground and explodes into his pass set. Notice that he is able to stay half man, has even weight distribution, and you even see independent hand usage here. The defender really has no idea what to do. It keeps him off balance. Nice job of setting and then expanding his set point, showing great patience and pass pro and able to get a punch in on a not so clean target. We talked about Ramchek's ability to climb and execute on the second level against linebackers. Well, here's power right here. Um, typically, the rules are gap down on, so he's going to be releasing up to the linebacker. He stays on track. Nothing spikes to him. Now, what I want you to look at, pay attention to is the angle that he takes and his power upon contact to jolt the linebacker's neck back. Watch the head shoot back when he climbs. Boom. Drives and finishes. We'll slow it down here in slow motion. This time, Wisconsin runs counter and he gets movement across his face. He doesn't panic, he handles it properly. 
This is a nice job setting vertical and working to a 45. He does two hand punch, but shows very good patience and shows even weight distribution. So even though the two hand punch does hit home and he ends up full man at the end, his feet are still in position to win and he has success here. This is truly beautiful. This is an excellent job of Ramchick using his backside drag hand to clear up the read for the running back. This also shows very good rotational power in the transverse plane, which allows him to generate great force as he's shoving the DN out of the gap. Boom. There's that read right. We'll slow the clip down here. Pay attention to the feet in the backside hand. Pay, pay attention to how efficient Ramchek's feet are right here. Pay attention to no wasted movement completely in his body. He's able to set, shows very good weight distribution once again, shows good patience, stays half man. The defensive end attacks him full man and tries to bull rush him and is no match for Ramchek. Easy win. Now I look at this play in a three-point stance, and you will notice there's no sense of urgency in his set. It tells me that he's not completely engaged in his three-point stance. You'll see him set and kind of move in sections. He ends up undersetting here, but yet has the feet to make up ground and is able to trace the hoop and run the defender over the top. We're going to slow this down. Look at the set. The efficiency, the body control, and the hand placement. ABC means always be closing in sales. Well, on the offensive line, we have ABF, always be finishing. Finishing doesn't necessarily mean a pancake or a knockdown every single play, but it's giving the defender a little added extra to let him know that, hey, I'm going to be on you and be on your ass all day. Watch Ram check. Boom. This is not an easy block for Ramchek to dig out right here against the three technique. But I want you to pay attention to how quick he gets off the ball. Watch him drive off his backside foot. Watch the targeting and the hat placement get across. And watch the power for him to really dig this three tech out. Pay attention to how Ramchek can end the fight as soon as he gets his hands inside and win. It's over. Earlier, we talked about the keys to twist pickup. We won't talk about that again here. But pay attention to Ramchick's ability to leverage with his hands. He's going to shoot his hands inside. He's going to drop his hips. Okay, And when his hips drop, the elbows torque in, the hands come inside and naturally leverage. Watch the relationship between his hips dropping, the elbows torquing, and the hands creating leverage. He actually lifts the defensive end up off the ground. Actually, it's the D-tackle. Right there. Ramchick does a nice job of setting and getting to a spot, but he's late with his anchor here, and it kind of drives him right back into the quarterback. I don't like this, and I've seen him do this a couple of times. There's not much on this play as far as blocking, but you do see the play speed, the agility, and the short area quickness. Once again, Ramchick showing his ability to use that backside drag hand to clear up the read for the running back. Also displays, again, rotational power uh, in the transverse plane. That is absolute uh, area where offensive linemen must be strong at, and Ramchick consistently shows he's able to do it. Now, if there's an area where I see that Ramchick um, is not certain about in his own skill set is when he plays defensive ends or rushers that use off speed that come off the ball a little slower and then a kind of frolic around and then go now watch this he completely undersets this and it gets him in a compromising position again we're looking at the feet we're looking at the base and the ability to drive through the end steps we're looking at the power through the base we're watching the hips come through and when the hips do come through you can see that he is able to knock the defender off the ball pushes him right out. The thing I've noticed about Ramchek is that he understands his strike zone and he also has very good punch timing based upon it no matter how he sets 
or where he sets or what landmark he hits. It doesn't matter. He's always in position to use his hands, and that's because of his efficient feet. Watch his body control here, his patience, punch, lockout, win. This is all around beautiful. I thought Ramchick th takes a very good set. The defensive end thinks that he overset him and tries to counter inside. Watch what Ramchick does with his strong inside hand and post foot. Boom, takes it away. This is what you get when you mesh physical traits and mentality. Watch the get off, watch the feet, watch the hit, lift, and drive generated through the ground through force and his hips uncoiling at the point of attack.